What's up, you guys? This is Robert at Shy Bears Plus. You follow me on YouTube. Like, subscribe, do all the things, leave a comment, share it, tell a friend, do all those great things. You also need to go over to Twitter and follow me at Shy Bears Plus and on Instagram at Shy Bears Plus. Also on TikTok, just just there doing like clips or whatever, trying to draw people here. Um, but that's what's up, man. That's where you can find me. It's week 15, man. Week 15, getting down to the home stretch. Home stretch, people. Um, Bears, 7-6 at Packers, 10-3. That's right, folks. It's Packer week. Uh, Packers are favored by four at home. All right, based. I, I, you know what? I guess I could see it. I could see it. I'm not mad about it. I mean, sometimes I just go like, man. I don't get it, so, but hey, you know what? I'm not an odds maker, so it is what it is. Let's start off with the Chicago Bears playoff hope porn preview. So much hope, so much hope for the playoffs. I think the last time I heard was the Bears were at about a 3% shot to go ahead and make those playoffs. They got to do a lot of things. Bears got to win out, obviously beating the the Vikings the last game of the season. The uh, Vikings need to lose to the Packers or the Chargers. Um, at some point, they did lose a game as well as lose to us. Uh, they're playing the Chargers at the Chargers, and they're due to win a close one. So think about it. Think about it. Um, could happen. The real, the thing that's killing me right now is the, the Rams need to at least lose two out of three. Um, they got Dallas, San Fran, and Arizona. <sighs> and unfortunately, our loss to them is going to hurt us with a tiebreaker. So they, they got to lose the two. And uh, they should have lost last week, but somehow they pulled it out. Ugh. Anyway, man, week one seems like so long ago when the Packers came to Chicago and ruined the Bears' 100 celebration festivities. They came and ruined everything. I d ah should have been one of should have been undefeated Bears, Dicka, all that stuff, right? <laughs> anyway, but uh, you know what? That was then. And that's kind of the theme of uh, the stories and what to watch for this week is that that was then and this is now. Now we go north. Now it's time to go ruin their little uh, their little party up, their little Packard party. It's time to go ruin that stuff. Like, how sweet would it be to be swag surfing, uh, club dubbing up in Lambeau? Oh, man, it would be so good. I mean, we're not ruining their season or anything, but... We need it, and we feel good for us. I'll tell you that. Club Dub on the road is still Club Dub, all right? Facts. Facts. Club Dub still crispy. So, yeah, I mean, way back then in week one, we had uh, Nagy was uh, forcing flat pegs into sphere holes. You know. But, uh, hey, man, now it's, it's different. Things are different now. They feel different. You know, Nagy's like... Um, Fitting the scheme to the talent, you know. Uh, we had the uh, center guard swap up, which is swap back. The injured tight ends are out. We got some new blood in there, and they're producing. We're actually getting something out of position now. We're blocking a little bit better. Um, all of a sudden, this team has got some new life. You know, Trubisky, did he just wake up, and um, is he is he just playing up to the low talent levels of the teams that he was playing? Or... You know, does he just have his uh, his little sweat, his swagger back, his swerve back, his Trubisky? Is he for real? Is he legit? This game will probably help let you know where he's at because I don't know. I'm rocking the 10. I got the faith, so we'll see what happens. Um, still waiting till the end of the year to make my evaluation. Uh, but things are looking better. Things are looking better now. Um, yeah. The emergence of uh, Robinson and Miller on on offense. Robinson just seems like a world beater, and Miller's really come come to his own. Um, you got rid of uh, well, first of all, we didn't even, like we ran like I don't know how many times. I think our leading rusher had five rushes. Um, I think that was Davis the first game. So we didn't used to run the ball. The balance being back is going to help. So many things. Trubisky showing the willingness to attack the ball down the field and stretch defenses. That's changed. So many things have changed. That was then. This is now. This is a better offense. This is a Bears team primed to go to Lambeau. 
and maybe upset a team. Maybe we're primed. Maybe it's time. So, yeah, but that first week, this, this Bears defense looked so good, so strong, so crispy. But now, you know, you're missing Danny T. You're missing Roquan. Um, possibly Hicks won't still be back. So we're going to be, we're not the same up the middle. We've, we've had good play out of our backup defensive tackles and linebackers. It, it's not the same, but uh, so I guess you could expect maybe not. We haven't been playing as well as that first week on defense, and uh, we're still a dang, really, really, really good defense. So, I mean, that's what's up. It's Things have changed. That was then. This is now. I mean, this last game, that was then. We lost 10-3. to Dude, I think we're going to bump those numbers up on both sides. Honestly, our defense isn't as good. Our offense is way better. Um, so, yeah, we're going to get those numbers up. It's, it's, the Packers are, are going to score more than 10 points just because, like, that was such an outlier anyway. So, yeah, numbers getting bumped up. We're bumping numbers up. Shy Bears Plus, go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the like button while you're sitting here listening, doing all the crispy things that you do out there. So, yeah, man. Packers, I'll tell you what, Aaron Rodgers just doesn't seem to be himself anymore, and I don't know what it is, and because we're saying that, of course, he'll have a perfect passer rating and throw for four touchdowns, and this whole video is going to be crap. But, I mean, from what I see, I can only call what I see. You know what? It's like Devontae Adams or bust. Like, the dude just forces it to that guy, and... um you know what? I hope he doesn't figure out how to spread out the ball this week. It'll help. I think it'll play to um, our advantage, to be honest with you. Um, Aaron Jones, man. Bro, I see you. I see you. The best A.A. Ron on the team is currently A.A. Ron Jones, not Rodgers. Changed my mind. Didn't think he could. That's right. Uh, the dude's playing really well. You got to watch out for him. That's probably going to be someone to key in on in my keys later. Anyway, um, dude, playing at Lambeau is tough. Like, I, I get it. I understand. It's going to be hard, man. You know, the Packer fans are always rowdy. It's going to be cold. You know, it's going to be Lambeau. It, it, it is what it is. You know, expect the Packers to get 50-second uh, play clocks. Um, expect them to hold every single play and it never get called. And expect them to pass interfere on every play, or at least defensive hold, and it not get called. And you're going to have to overcome that. Um, do the Bears have enough to, you know, beat a team by 10 and only come away with a three-point victory? Because that's what it takes against this team. There's always the one and Dude, the Packers are the luckiest team in the world. The luckiest team in the world is unreal, uh, the kind of breaks that they end up getting. And, you know, you can play a perfect game and still lose, um, an even game and still lose, because that's just the way the cookie crumbles against this team. So, um, it's kind of crazy that this Packer team sort of reminds you of a traditional Chicago Bears team of the last, you know, 35 years that really good on defense, but their offense is just good enough to win. I mean, that's just the winning seasons. Obviously, we've had offenses bad enough to lose, right? But, uh, yeah, this, this offense isn't a world-beating offense. You know, Aaron Rodgers isn't going for any MVPs this year. So, you know, it is what it is. They're they're like a bear team. They're playing solid D. Dude, I they're not that scary. They're like <laughs> they're one of the least scary uh what ten to three teams that I've ever seen. I, I'm not super worried about them. I, I feel like I just totally uh Oh, let's see. So yeah, ten and three. I thought I totally missed the score on that. But uh or the the records. But uh, something to keep in mind, I know that the Packers have tried to expose Kwiatkowski in the past and uh, get him isolated in coverage. And, you know, that's like one of the things where most of us Bear fans, including me, I've been burned saying it like, oh, watch out, Kwiatkowski in coverage. It's not going to be good. Dude, Kwiatkowski's turned like a page, man. He's become a player, like an all-around player's player. Um, and it's so crispy. you love to see it. They won't be able to do that anymore, I don't think. They might try. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. Let's see what Lefleur has uh Lefleur Lefleur has uh in in mind against this Bears D. So alright, let's go. Short version of this show. Keys to the game. So crispy, you love to see them. Number one, discipline, rushing, lanes, do not let Aaron Rodgers run free. Keep him contained, just like you know the 
your the Packers were trying to do to Trubisky, keep him in line and say, get him down. Get you know what? Just hurt him. <laughs> Just kidding. Don't hurt people. Like I'm not uh I'm not the Saints defense of a couple of years ago, right? Number two. Number two. Contain the real AA Ron. That's right, Aaron Jones. Um they got a good play action game. If you gotta stop the run, you gotta stop the run or they're gonna burn you with it. And if they burn you with a couple play action plays, that's fine. Like you still got a K in. You got you got a key on and on the run. And if you do everything right anyway, you know, you'll give up a couple plays here and there. But uh plan on trying to score over twenty points, Bears, or you're not gonna win anyway. So, yeah, you'll get one. Some people will get theirs. But if you stop the run and uh, you let Aaron try to run around and force the ball to Devontae Adams 25 times this game, like we're going to win. Uh, you know, Fuller will uh, hopefully not drop a pick six on one of those little comebacks to uh, Devontae Adams. Maybe he'll actually catch it and run it back this time. How many times have you seen that? But uh, he's he's overdue. He's overdue for one. Let's be honest. I, I I feel I'm feeling good things, feeling good things about it. Um, but yeah, stop the run. Watch out for the screens. Like uh, KPL, you know, keep keep an eye on the KPL. Kid, probably it's so hard. You don't want to spy. You just want to contain because you probably have to have KPL keeping a lookout for Jones and with his like four five one speed, he could actually follow him around the field and actually shut him down. It, it, could be pretty interesting on uh, what this Bears D can do to this Packers offense. Um, key number three, attack their middle linebackers horizontally. Sweep them, toss them, jet sweep them, bubble screen them. You know what? They're not going to be able to keep up and catch Cohen Montgomery getting out to the outside. I think there's an advantage there. I, I don't think we want to run off tackle. Like these, dude, I, I talk so much trash about this miss. And they've been playing so good. It's been such a good situation for the Packers. But uh, you know what? Stay away from those two. You know, if you got to uh, run some ISO up the middle between them, you know, get a full back and, and go after those linebackers, I'm cool with that too. Um, otherwise, let's get these uh, let's get these linebackers in space. Let's uh, Let's get them chasing. And uh, I, dude, I think like they have this season. They get caught up in the stuff when you try to get outside when they're chasing it down. There's there's opportunities for those. Uh, I think Geist did it last week. Did a pretty good job getting outside on them. Um, and then yeah, I don't think either of their linebackers can cover our running backs out of the backfield. So keep that in mind. Um, whether that's going to be wheel routes or Texas routes or comebacks or uh, little hooks, option routes up the middle. Like I definite advantage. They're weak up the middle, in my opinion. Um, probably the weakest spot, and it's a good. The weakest spots probably just like the Bears right now. Weak up the weaker weak with the middle linebacker position. They should be able to be able. Both teams should be looking to attack each other, uh, pretty similarly. So anyway, key number four: balance. Nagy, be us. Don't be you. Be us. Be what we are. Don't revert to week one where we passed the ball a bajillion times and didn't run. Stay with what's working now. Let's try to win out doing this winning formula. Do not revert. Please don't do it. Not crispy. Don't love to see old Nagy. Number five, when we're passing, stay away from Alexander. And you can move around uh, A-Rob. I don't know if he's going to follow him. But move him to the slot, move him to the other side. If you move him around, if he follows him, you can probably stay away. Although, in my opinion, A-Rod's pretty much almost always open this season. And when he's not open, he's open. Like last week, tight coverage. He's just coming down with passes, touchdowns. Unreal, playing so well. He's so crispy, you love to see him. But yeah, go after King, go after Williams. Uh, bad PFF grades, bad smell tests, bad eye tests. Packer fans don't even like King. No one likes King. No one likes you. <laughs> so, yeah, go after him. So you could have a good, a huge Miller game. Isolate King. I think Miller will will just toast him. Um, and you know what? I, I don't know who's playing on the other outside. Is it going to be Wims or Ridley? I don't think Wims is back yet. I uh, I had a injury report up here, and I, I don't. I actually canceled it out before I started this. But anyway, um, pretty sure that he's... 
Not going there. Don't know. Um, I don't know as of right now um, what's going to be up with Hicks. I heard tomorrow they're going to try to make a decision. I don't think he's gone live yet, but they're liking what they see. So maybe return to Hicks. A lot of maybes. Uh, one thing that kind of scares me about this Packer team is if this Tanya kid is uh, is for real. If he's going to be stretching the field down the middle. Because that's going to put us in a situation. You know, uh, are we following worried about him? Um, and then slip it underneath. Jones uh, Jones catches the passes over the middle. The screen's over the middle. He's dangerous. He's so dangerous. And then, you know, you always got to worry about Rodgers running. So, you know, I don't think we're going to blow this Packer team out. <laughs> you know, they're, they've got enough. They have got enough to be dangerous. They've got enough to win 10 games. They've got enough to do it. So where am I right now? Where am I on the my crispy prediction that everyone comes for? You waited this long. I'm going to give it to you right now, right after this brief message from our sponsors. Just kidding. No, no message. Prediction. Bears. 24. On the road. Beat the Packers. 23 points. 24, 23, Bears win by one, upset, pandemonium, club dub on the road. That's what's up. If you like the video, smash a like, hit subscribe, leave a crispy comment. Let me know how you feel. Give me your prediction down in the comments. And uh, let's go get this dub, win out, hope porn, playoff time. Hoping we make it. Hoping everything goes right and bear down.